welcome to another video from Married to Reselling. I hope you enjoyed my little French lesson in the previous video. We're going to show you some items that sold, so stay tuned. We need to get uh, pick the Etsy order. Uh, vintage Hornsey contrast cup and saucer times five, brown and white. I think it's in a box. Yeah, it's been listed since January. Hornsey contrast. Yeah. Cups and saucer. So these have been hanging around and this listing was a bit weird. It wasn't searchable on eBay, it was bizarre. You had this with another one, didn't you? Yeah, listed, relisted, sold similar, but it was just bizarre. Anyway, it cost £2.82, listed eight months, sold on Etsy for £15.99. That's them. And five of them, five saucers. This one doesn't have a skew. But it's recent. Royal Worcester Evesham Vale salad dessert plate times four. Is there oh, an Evesham Vale yeah, crate? Yeah, you've got an Evesham Vale crate. Uh, salad dessert plate. Yeah, five of them. Have we still got others for sale? Oh, I think we're not going to. I will check that out. But there's three more in there as well. So I will just double check. We there. will just check the measurement, I think. Eight inches. Eight inches. So five, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Oh no, four. Four. Okay. So that cost one pound seventy four, sold for fourteen seventy nine. Next up in crate four, we have vintage Churchill Willow side plates times three. They're blue and white. They cost a pound in an auction job lot and they sold for £10.79 and they have been listed for three months. Then we've got a Marla Wynn shirt. Yep. It is white and grey, so it's white with a grey abstract print on it. It's Marla Wynn 2, so it's right probably at the bottom. Well, we've had them all out. So. It'll look like a white shirt. Yeah. Two. Lovely, that was £2.22, that sold for £27.99. Lovely. Now if you could position yourself at crate three, we have the vintage Price Kensington Mr. Celery Green Face Ceramic Pot. It's not that one oh. poking out, it's the other one. Yeah. With like the cartoon face on it. No. My on eyes. Celery. Ah. Yes. Mr. Celery. Yeah. He cost £2.87 in a big job lot from the auction, listed within, well, sold within two weeks. Do you look like twins? Yeah, like completely, just, I mean, it's uncanny. <laughs> uh, sold for £17. And then we've got Dalton Bruce Oldfield rimmed bowls, four of them. Oh, yeah, I'll put them in a crate. Crate five. Uh, what is it? Bowls. Yeah, rimmed bowls. Rimmed bowls. Someone's rimmed these bowls. They have rimmed them. So there should be four in there. Yeah. Yeah, they cost £3.11. You got those from the auction. They sold for £26.99. I think they're going GSP to Australia. Yes, they are. And then we've got the Oxford Campus Notebook Times 2. These are in the big notebook job lot we got uh, they cost 94p sold for 10.39 and then we've got 50 bulk <laughs> notebooks these are two different designs and they cost 23.50 and sold for 28.79 plus heavy post they didn't go on amazon because they're just cheapies they they don't scan as anything on amazon um so we just wanted to shift those everything went into amazon some stuff went on ebay these didn't know what to do with really so yeah it's it's like 20 20 quid back in the pot isn't it We've got a brora top b for brora uh top b yes it's multicolored and thin multicolored and thin it might be near the top there it is that zigzaggy one i think brora top plus size 18 zigzag yes that cost uh, £4.50 listed and sold within a couple of weeks for £31.10. Funny price, but that's the offer they sent. Yeah, that was a lot. It must be a percentage. It was off 39 99 I think, so 
any mathematicians watching will be able to work that out quickly, I'm sure. Okay, black tub. A bit too much cardboard at the moment. We've got <laughs> neighbours coming through with cardboard still. We have so much. Look at all this. Start selling it. We live in a really small village, and this is so good that just in this tiny village that people have come through with so much, and that we've got more outside that I picked up today from the next village because someone saw my post and they said their husband is a heating engineer and always has boxes, so that is really good stuff. No, I didn't, didn't think you were coming back. Yeah, sorry. What have we got in the black tub? <laughs> a dragon ornament resin turquoise. Oh. I love this tub. This <laughs> tub of stock. I did a video. Joy. I did a video about it and it was brilliant. Maybe I'll just have to put that video on because yeah, I'll put that video in. I'll put it in here. I am doing a video tonight. It's quite late. I think well, it's about 20 to 10. I have got a really good auction haul that I wanted to show you. I've got a bit of a sore throat, scruffy clothes on, but I just, I'm really excited about this. I didn't pay very much for it, and I think I'm gonna do really well on it. We went to the auction on Friday, had a bit of a mooch about, saw this tub and had a quick look through, and there were some interesting bits in there. Most of them are new items, or sort of modern items. Nothing really vintage jumped out at me, uh, but I thought if it's, cheap and uh, we can get it cheap onto a winner so we paid 10 pounds plus two pound hammer vat plus two pounds 10p premium including that so 14 pound and 10p and i'm going to show you really quickly whilst i was at football and the dogs are asleep what we got i thought it was an octopus i was like oh that's a bit different show simon he's like oh maybe it's an octopus or is it a hand and then I put it the right way up and noticed that it's a dragon's head. It's made of some kind of stone. I don't know that it's marble, could be. Uh, but on the bottom, written £56 on a tag. So I had a quick look briefly earlier and I think maybe that could be like a £30 item. Next up is this vase. It's pretty basic but it's, I think it's really really pretty um, the maker on the bottom it's Sink Ports Pottery Limited the Monastery Rye there we go there's the maker's mark not come across this brand before uh, sort of 1950s to 1980s where they were doing really really well with their pottery and this I'm going to list for $24.99 next up is an Emma Bridgewater mug and it's New Hall School, it says there. Apparently, Henry VIII used to live there before it was a school. Um, but there's Emma Bridgewater on the bottom and it's still got a sticker on saying inspected, inspected by six. So I'm gonna aim for 24.99 on that, but I will send out offers, best offers on there as well. And next up is this skull mug. And this is new as well. It's got the barcode sticker still on it. This reminded me of um, Pete and Sophie off Gogglebox because they love their novelty mugs. Um, but I thought that was quite cool. Um, I've already listed this one. I've loaded the title with Skull, Skeleton, Death, Horror, Halloween. And hopefully the right person will come along quickly and buy it. This was a result. Top marks if you can tell me what this is. I mean... It's glass. It says made in Quick Fit England, EX5 forward slash 55. There we go. I had to do a Google image search and I can tell you exactly what it's called. I have no idea what it's for because science is not my thing, as a little spoiler for you. It's called a borosilate glass socklet extractor. 240 mil, 3435 cone and bottom. And it says, removes soluble components or impurities from solids via repeated soaking, siphoning with solvent. This is a 201 pound piece of glass. I'm gonna hold it really tight. Uh, it doesn't look like it's ever been used. It's like clean. Um, I'm gonna list that for about 170. Okay, next up. Is this cute little dish? It's, it feels like marble. It says chicken and ham. 
Oh, Sega Ipswich. The sort of thing that probably had pate in it or something. And I thought, oh, maybe it's modern, but it's not, it's vintage. And there's a lot of them that have sold different flavors, this flavor on eBay. So I've listed that for, I think, 19.99 because someone sold for 20. And then this one, I don't wanna drop this on my foot. It's a bowl on a pedestal. It's one solid piece of marble and it's brand new with tags and it's from H&M. I put in the code on the tag, the top code, because there's loads of numbers, and it came straight up with uh, this piece on H&M's website, out of stock, 39 .99. Um, This one is a brand new with tags glass water bottle from Starbucks. It's got the siren, um, mermaid woman on the front. I've listed that for 24 99 because they don't sell those anymore on their website. I've also listed this for 24 99 It's a sculpture by A. Santini, I think it is. Amilcare Santini, St. Michael Sculpture, um, Italy. And it's got the signature on the bottom. It has got Italy, but they've missed the L out. So I don't know if that makes it rare or what. Uh, but I've listed it for 24 99 so remember I told you this was £14.10 for this lot. We're doing quite well. This is a cute little egg cup with a fox and it says on the bottom quail. Not familiar myself with any quail products. However, there's a lot of egg cups so they obviously know their thing when it comes to egg cups. And I've listed this one for £14.99 free post. A few have sold of the fox for £9.99 plus post. On first look, these look just like little beer glasses. You can tell in the camera they don't actually, spoiler. Um, I thought, oh, they're just like little half pint glasses. But in this light, you can see that they're etched on the front and it's Wrexham AFC. Hot topic, Wrexham at the moment. So I'm hoping these will sell. And I've listed those for 24.99 as well. I think the rest of the stuff I'm gonna show you, there's quite a few bits, is stuff I actually haven't really looked at yet pretty sure but this is one of them it's some kind of stone as you can see blue green I'm not really into stones my sister and my nephew are so they'll probably tell me what it is do you know much about stones hit me up in the comments also in there was this glass pearlescent heart I thought maybe it was a bottle but it's not that's fixed that's all part of the piece so I'm guessing it hung on string or some beads or ribbon it's like a sort of sun catcher type thing in a window never listed one of these before see them occasionally i'm obviously familiar with willow tree seen it in all good gift shops this one is called with affection and i think these are about 12.99 free post for used in there was this resin glass sort of bead lizard is it a lizard or is it a dragon lizard dragon i guess it is what you want it to be it's got a flat resin base i guess there's some kind of art to this i'll have to look into what it's called but and it was made in a mold i'm guessing yeah that's a dragon um so no idea what i'll list that for but it's got me thinking as i'm going through this lot who who was this? This was in the house clearance room, as I call it. So it's not really old stuff, which predominantly everything in there is. Um, it can't be, I mean, everything's clean and new. So it's not like someone's just cleared out their cupboards and thought, oh, let's just try our luck and put it in the auction. I literally have no idea. Like, I'd just love to know sometimes. Um, another heart, this one's a stone. Again, without looking it up, I don't know what it is, what stone it is, but it's quite nice. Also in there was a big Costa mug or cup. The biggest one, is it Grande or is that Starbucks? Don't know. Um, never ordered anything that big. Um, but who knows what I'll get for that. There was also this little stained glass sun catcher angel. Um, probably handmade, maybe. I've got a friend that makes these. Um, it's very fragile. But I don't think it's glass, actually. Oh, who knows. It's quite cute. 
this was my favorite piece in there. Look at this glass bowl, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. No maker's mark on the bottom. Although I say that, and often Simon will come in and say, oh yeah, look, there it is. Actually, I don't know, I'll have to get my loop out. That could just be a blemish in the glass, but there might be something on the base, but it's tiny. But I think that is absolutely beautiful. This is my sort of thing. Look at my watch, because Simon will be due home soon. I want to get it done before he's back. And an agate marble. Could never I guess a tea light holder. It's a solid piece, it's heavy. Nothing on the bottom, but I've sold things made out of this before. Um, little sculptures, sold an egg that was in a, another auction hall. Um, so maybe get like nine quid for that. Also this little dude, these are French Bulldogs, aren't they? Um, it's stone again. I don't think there's anything engraved on the bottom, hold on. No, but they're a very fashionable dog. Their accessories and sort of gift themed items do well. So I'm hoping that will um, go quickly. Then we've got this really lovely bowl. It is Lancastria, was it? Royal Lancastrian made in England. Never heard of Royal Lancastrian before. Um, not familiar when I typed it in a couple of my trusty websites that I use for looking at um, what pieces make up sets and um, sort of dinnerware Lancastrian didn't bring up any results so I'm none the wiser at the moment also in there is this little tiny glass that says oops on it I don't know if it's vintage just got a little boy and a girl playing jacks or something marbles oh it says France on the bottom Right. that's interesting, me and Simon were talking about French glass earlier. Um, so maybe that is vintage. And then we also have this shot glass with like an eagle on the front. I don't know what that's for. I'll do a Google image search on that. See if it returns anything. For something like a shot glass, if there's only one and it's not part of a set and it's not worth much, I sort of collect up into boxes and I end up putting them back in the auction. It's gonna be hard to show you these. I know, there's these glass rods. I think there was 11 of them, wrapped in bubble wrap, and they are 23 and a half centimetres long. And I thought, well, maybe they're like cocktail stirrers, but they're glass. And they've got like this sort of ribbed, raised bit, sort of almost halfway. I've done glass making and fused glass before, and when you get sort of stringers or rods, you wouldn't get anything with that down the middle. So that's supposed to be there. So. I've done a little bit of research on my phone in front of the TV and I'm wondering if they're laboratory sort of chemistry stirrers. I need to have a closer look, but that will tie in with this that I already showed you. So it could be linked with that, but they were just wrapped in, a, like bundled together an elastic band. Also in there, which I'm gonna donate back to the auction in my box of, that I'll build up, are these three little trinket pots with lids, they're personalised, like someone's had a cry cut machine or something, and personalised them in Arabic. I used the Google um, app, because you can do text translation by photo, if you need to try it and you haven't, give it a go, because it's good. And they're actually people's names. Um, the chances of me finding someone with those three names on eBay is slim to none. So they're going back in the auction. In there was this Stella Artois glass, very nice glass. Um, probably 10 a penny, but who knows? It's very heavy. On the same theme, I've been told it's Japanese beer. Sapporo premium beer glass with wood shavings in the bottom. <laughs> and that also is a nice glass. And another glass, winning sips. So I don't know if you had to um, if it's like the Monopoly game or something at McDonald's. Um, but in there is this green Coca-Cola glass. Um, not seen them in this shape before, so obviously a new thing. Nice green one with the box. I think my £14.10 safe, don't you? What do you think, Monica? Do you think my £14.10 safe? You shouldn't say much. This may well end up going back into the auction. 
who knows, but it's a tiny weeny little grandfather clock with butterfly and flowers on it. I have no idea who made it, what it's worth. Next, we've got this pair of sort of pottery, like studio wear little pots. I'm actually after a new toothbrush pot, so that could be good. However, I think I prefer the money in my account if they're worth anything. They are stamped on the bottom. I have no idea what it says. Clay, clay note, all one word. But we've got a pair. I mean, I sold like a studio, something smaller than this, studio pottery, no lid. I just sold it as a pen holder a couple of weeks ago and it sold for about 15. So, and no, it's a um, paintbrush holder and the person loved it. Got more gemstones. Have a lady's bust, literally. <laughs> Uh, that's pink and we have a white little gemstone oh we've got a man's bust oh look at the buns on him Ooh, uh. so they can go as a pair and this is nice as well I used to be into all this stuff when I was younger look at that sparkle um, but not so much now. Um, I'll have to find out what that is as well. Are any of you into gemstones and Reiki and all that sort of stuff? Just, I haven't got a clue. Um, I know you have to put them in the sun to charge them. I do know that. This is world's smallest teapot. And it is, it just says orchid on the bottom. There we go, but the spout's chip. Next is, or get it the right way around. It's a glass ball and it says Sagittarius. It's not got my upside down head in there permanently. It's completely round, it doesn't sit. It's not got a flat edge like a paperweight would. So is that for some kind of witchcraft or something? I'm not gonna take it out of the box, but apparently in here is a tiny ceramic squirrel. It's Fox and Fern Ceramic Squirrel, originally from Amazon because there's the FN SKU code. Another little studio pottery pot. This one says Sam Samradki, 18th of June 23. So this is newly made. I may have well said that completely wrong. But I did find, and I can't remember it off the top of my head, but I did save it in my bookmarks, a website where you can search for studio pottery signatures and it really helped me out previously. Also a Starbucks mug, just a plain white one. Uh, sold these before, what does it say on the bottom? 2019 Starbucks, so that's probably a tenner. Also were three Demitasse or Espresso Starbucks cups. Don't know why it's only three. Like, it'd be good if there was four, but I am grateful that I've got all this anyway. Another Starbucks mug. I can do those as a pair, so that's good. So let's say 20 quid for a pair. Two coffee mugs. Quite nice, actually. They're, they're sort of very Denby in a way, but they're thicker. But the colour, the sort of petrol blue colour, does remind me of Denby. But it says Love Ramix Porcelain on the bottom. There we go. So there's two of those. And there's also two little Demitas again, Love Ramex. So do I do those as a four or do I do two twos? Is someone likely to like an espresso and a big coffee? I'm not a coffee drinker. And there was also this jug, very 3D, very raised design. Spotlessly clean inside, like everything that I've got here is. The only sort of marks some of them have are on the bottom, you know, where it's not sort of finished. It's still like um, naked a little bit, I suppose. It hasn't got a glaze on it. And they, they get sort of scuffed and marked, don't they, even from being in a cupboard. Um, but this one says quality rayware by design, I think. Another little teapot, but not as tiny as the other one. And this one is Ashford, fine bone china made in Staffordshire, England. Inspired by the design Iris, circa 1887, by William Morris, 1834 to 1896. And then finally in that box, is this glass. There we go. It's a gin glass, it says genealogy glassware. 
and it's got a hummingbird, no it hasn't, a kingfisher on the side, both sides actually. It's very cute and it's got sort of things you can have in your gin on the side. This is from Inesco, so we've sold Inesco items before. We've done sort of ornamental things of theirs, um, but never glass and it's Canadian, so that's nice. So I think that covers everything. I've quickly counted, there are 42 items here, or 42 um, listings I'm gonna create. So if anything's a pair, I've counted that as one. So 42, which works out at 34p an item. So I am super happy. This little chap was 35p, picked him up in the job lot from auction, and he sold for 12 pound 89. Did he have a repair or something? No, that was the other one that we thought was an octopus. Oh. But it was a dragon. <laughs> oh, yeah. I haven't listed that yet because I don't think I can repair it. So I need to think about what I'm going to do with it. But it was cost price of 35p. Oh, that dragon sold within two, three weeks. We do like to say we're trying to be a bit more transparent about how long things take to sell, aren't we? Yeah. Um, yeah. Because Not everything sells straight away. No. And it's an investment. It is an investment. But it's also, I think, interesting for people to realise that stuff can sell quickly if you take the right photos, if you put in good keywords, item specifics, make sure you know your title. Get the right price. Get the right price, do your research. And find stock that's in demand, which when it's in an auction bundle, it's, it's a lottery, but well, you know, when you're hand-picking yeah. charity shops, auctions or whatever, then it's... Uh... Exactly, but I did have a look through that lot before we won it and there was bits in there that I wanted and we've made our money back already and we're also in quite good profit for that lot so yeah and it's all been listed less than a month we have no tub number because it's been listed since december oh, so yes, I know what this, is. <laughs> this has taken eight months to sell mate no nine possibly eight to nine months to sell it's so a, sad it's a sugar puffs mug and i picked this up i picked this up in a lo local charity shop when i was just going to the post office it was did you say it was 99p one pound 49 Oof. and uh, i had a quick look at solds on ebay so um i you know i bought it for a reason i, I also kind of bought it as one of those ones we were sort of saying about those um christmas lights our average selling price is 19 pounds and so when i'm picking up things that are cheaper than 19 pounds i sort of you know i'm in an iron about that it changes it sort of goes between 16 20 pounds something like that so really i shouldn't be picking stuff up like this um but I think this was when I came home with only breakables, although that, that feels like no, that, that was, wasn't nine months no, ago. No, that wasn't nine months ago. Uh, anyway, so it's from 1991. Yeah. 1991. So what's that? That's nine. That's it's older 30, than me. 32 years old. Yeah, and I'm 31. It's in such great condition. So, you know, that's kind of what, all those reasons I picked it up. They're not the right reasons, though. Um, you know, just because something's old doesn't mean it's good. It's not always an oldie, but a goodie. Uh, but anyway, that sold, did you say, for £3 plus post? Yeah. Uh, that was um, on an offer. I just, in fact, I reduced all of our, I think it was about 70 oldest items. Our oldest item just ticked over a year uh, in the last week or so. So uh, that's how old our oldest items are. So I put the like oldest 50, I reduced them all by 20%. And... That was something that got picked off. I don't know if it was an offer. That Yeah, it was an offer, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah I just took it because I was sick of the sight of this mug. They offered £3, and I was like, well, hey, <laughs> plus post, it went for five ninety nine. And then we've got this Indian Independence book. I remember these. Uh, this cost 29p. It's been listed for six months, uh, between five and six months, and that sold for £4.12 plus post. So if you put stuff in a poly bag... Don't forget your suffocation warning. Yeah. That's what got one on it. Yeah. Yeah, because hopefully you buy the right stock. Yeah, I do. Yeah. If it's over five and a half inches opening, it's got to have the suffocation warning on it. There it is. If you would like to read it sideways. <laughs> crate five. Crate. Or, no, crate one. Crate one. This crate. We're looking for a Victorian sugar bowl sold on Etsy for thirteen pound eleven. Cost few pence ages ago if you watch our videos and saw the video with the uh lalik nina ricky perfume and the baccarat vase you'd have seen this set was in there hidden at the bottom of the crate um so that sold for 13 11 on etsy 
Do you, apparently though, or not according to our listing, we have five. Do we have five? No. Oh, that's it's interesting. Weird. It's weird because we had five listed on eBay and cross-listed using zip sale, five listed on Etsy. The one sold on Etsy and four are still available on Etsy and it but it's ended the listing on eBay oh. for selling one out of the five. I don't know what's going on then. I don't know if that's a zip sale issue or what. It sounds like one, but it seems to have turned out that we actually only have one anyway. <laughs> so I'm not sure how we ended up with five, but that's almost a sort of separate issue. If we'd have just had one, sold one, it should have closed it on the eBay, that's fine. But the fact that we had five listed, so it shouldn't have closed it on eBay, but it did. Anyway, so I need to close the uh, Etsy yeah. listing. Uh, which I'll do in a minute, but it's weird. Cool. Anyone had an experience like that? I'll put it on Instagram anyway. Might turn out that it wasn't Zipsale's fault, but I did tag them in. <laughs> Who knows, we'll find out. Okay. This is my favorite sale. The vintage Woolworths replacement Christmas bulbs. Oh, so I thought your favorite sale was gonna be a different one. Well, yeah. yeah. We talked recently about this. Sold. Picked these up in a charity shop. They sold in less than a week. We were at the till paying and I just saw them on the side, 50p. They're vintage Woolworths, but they're brand new old stock. Um, so I paid 50p for those and they sold for 9 99 within a couple of days. Yeah, like the filaments look okay. Let's hope we don't ruin someone's Christmas when they yeah. set it up on Christmas Eve. That bowl sold in three months, by the way. And next we have another one of my favourite sales. And what did you say to me the other day? Leave them out because they're going to sell. But they sold in like 48 hours. Just put them away in the tub and they sold. Yeah, these gorgeous Nike Lab Free Rift Sandals, size 10. Paid £8.50 last week for those and they sold for £62.99. They've got the old like Vibram camel toe you just split the bag to tell us that no it was already split oh. well it's where it's not split it's not stuck down properly oh, basically right. you didn't use a bag big enough. Oh, whatever it's a bit of rush skirt so in bottom it's a black skirt joseph ribkoff size 10 oh, it's on the top yeah because it's recently listed sold in less than two weeks uh that cost two pounds and sold for 22.99 what did you think of the black tub haul? Let us know your favourite item in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. See you in the next one. Bye for now. Bye.